Hello everyone. Welcome to WAGHL. Today, we will show you how to link our services with ChatGPT and you can create a ChatGPT bot using WAGHL services. For that, you need to go to automations in your GHL sub account and create a new workflow and then choose from scratch. Click on continue. Here, you need to add a trigger and trigger can be anything as per your requirement as we are putting here as customer replied. Then in filter, select reply channel as SMS and then click on save trigger. Don't forget to enable re-entry in the workflow settings. Now you need to add one more action here as webhook. In webhook you can give any action name as per your convenience but the method should be post and in the URL you have to put the URL which you can find in the description link. So I am pasting the URL that I am having. Then in the add item put key as the chat GPT assistant ID first key and put second key as chat GPT API key. And in the values, put their values for both one by one. And also please make sure you have entered correct values here. Otherwise it will not work. So I am copying my values and putting right in front of both keys. Since these are unique values, different for each user and in the same way you can put your values here. After putting all values, just simply click on save action. Then you can name this workflow as chat GPT or chatbot whatever you want. It's done now. Don't forget to save and publish this workflow. And if you want test it out, then you can make a test here. Let's say, if I send a test message from one of my contacts to the connected number, then after few seconds you will be start getting response from chat GPT. And if I test it further, then again you will get reply from it, according to the chat GPT data assigned to it. This will enable you to respond your customers' queries over the WhatsApp. This is how you can connect chat GPT using WAGHL services. On top of that, if you would like to capture the last response of chat GPT, then you can do that by adding the custom field in settings. Then go to custom fields. You need to add a field here. Select field as multi-line field then in the name. It should be chat GPT last response. Please ensure that you need to copy and paste it as it is. Otherwise it may not work. After that in group select contact and then click on save, then, it will give pop-up message confirming that field has been added successfully. And to cross check, let's say, if I am sending another message from WhatsApp like as how to use the admin panel, then it will give a reply which is now captured as last response. To cross check it, if I go back to GHL contacts, open the same contact and under that contact, I will be able to see the last response of the chat GPT. So, you may use this in your configuration based on your requirement, but it will always capture the last response of chat GPT and this is how you can store data in your workflow automation by making the use of last response. In order to get the assistant ID and chat GPT key, you need to go to your OpenAI platform. Here in the assistant, you can get the assistant ID and you can copy this easily. Same way you can find the API key, click on create new secret key, you can create your own API key and you can use that in integrating the services with WAGHL. In this way, you can make use of webhook feature to connect your chat GPT and start responding to your user queries through chat GPT. Now please be informed that we have two different webhook parameters, and to identify among those, which one you have to select in the chat GPT workflow automation. For that let's go to settings. Phone numbers, under the phone number go to advanced settings. Here you can see, if your default SMS provider is WhatsApp Gateway 1, then your webhook link will be trigger1.apimerger.com and if your default provider is WhatsApp Gateway instead of Gateway 1, then your webhook link will be trigger.apimerger.com. This is how you can identify your webhook URL which link your account belongs to. If you are using WhatsApp Gateway then you need to use trigger.apimerger.com and if you are using WhatsApp Gateway 1 then, you need to use trigger1.apimerger.com. In this way you can integrate chat GPT assistant using WAGHL services. Thank you.